Good day, Capricorn Collective. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning in to Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your awesome energy. Thank you for hanging out with me, and thank you for clicking on like, subscribing to my channel, and hitting that notification bell. That will let you know when I'm going live or posting new videos. Today, I am shuffling for the overall energy for this general reading for December 2023. All right, so we got our cards to start with. We have Pegasus Transcending. And we have Daffodil Fairy, New Beginning. So it looks like there are some changes coming in. You are leveling up and you are going to feel this newness about you. You are going to feel um, like a changed person. I do feel like this is going to, you're going to most feel it in the spring. You might have to take the, um, the winter to work on it. You might have some growing still to do in the winter when you're by yourself in the silence of your own home, uh, working through those shadow, um, that shadow work, um, you know, creating those coping skills that you need, but I feel like you are transcending, you're leveling up and um, there's going to be this newness about you come springtime. It's like you're going to be blooming yourself, like the spring flowers is what I'm seeing. Um, you have a lot of ancestral energy around you. I'm just starting to, my eyes just started to fill up. There's a lot of ancestral energy around you. And um, they love you to connect with them. So when you, and you can just talk to them out loud, like, you know, you can talk to them in front of people. You don't have to, I mean, you can be by yourself, but they're there. They want you to, they know that they want you to know that they are surrounding you all the time and guiding you. They're right there with your guides and guardians. And they want you to know that, that they're there. Their energy is with you all the time. So try not to miss them so much because they are right there in your energy. All right, so let's move on to, oh my golly, um, to the tarot reading and see what the tarot has to say for our Capricorn Collective. Can I have a few cards to start off, Spirit, for this general reading for December 2023 for our Capricorns, please? 2023. What does a Capricorn? Thank you. Collective need to know. Thank you. Ooh, thank you. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords, Three of Cups. And then I was told to read these together, the full in reverse and the page of cups. Okay, so I am getting a feeling of self-sabotage. This might be your old energy or how you used to do things. This could be you right now. You might be somebody who in relationships is a self-sabotager. And some people will keep doing that until they learn that what exactly they're doing. And that it's called self-sabotage. So, um, when you might be stuck in this energy, this might be something, it's also kind of winning at any cost. You're going to manipulate the universe. You're going to try to do everything you can to come out on top. Um, now, you know, you can't manipulate the universe, so that's only going to put things into, you're going to go more off you, your path if you start manipulating things. If you start, um, you know, planting, maybe you find out that somebody you like is going to be at this club and um, you show up there, but, you know, there was somebody else and you start interrupting them or whatever. That's manipulating. All right, because you found out randomly that they're going to be in this area or this place. So you go and try to interrupt what is naturally happening with somebody else, but you want it to happen with you. So you are putting a wedge in between and that is manipulation. That is um, self-sabotage. So... Something you don't want to do, something that if you have a habit of doing that, 
um, it's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. And it's throwing you further off your path. If something was meant for you, it would be with you. If they're interested in you, they're going to come to you. If it's meant to escalate your relationship, if it's meant to escalate, is going to escalate naturally. Okay, yeah, somebody has to start first, but you shouldn't have to go to extremes to do it. Um, and if somebody's not responding to you, don't waste your energy on them. When they're ready and they want you, they will come to you. If they don't, if they don't have an interest, then it's not meant to be. Move on to the next person. You're gorgeous. You're magic. Don't doubt that. Okay, then we have the Three of Cups. So you might be walking away from um, a group of people or friends that weren't serving you for your higher purpose. Like I said, you're, you're transcending right now. So these people might not be on the same level as you anymore. You never want to level down to somebody. They should want to level up. You should be an example. They should want to level up to where you are. So keep that in mind. Don't level down to, to be on somebody's level. You oh, stay where you are and let people be attracted to you. Um, okay. Then we have the full in reverse and the page of cups, which makes me believe again, that you are stuck in a cycle. Um, like, like I said, this could be you self-sabotaging a new love. Um, like it's funny with this car, like, it's like, you know, this person likes you, but you're like, you know, it's almost like you're pushing them away is what I'm getting the, the, um, because of the, just the way you're acting. And this is, this is a cycle for you. You know, the fool is moving forward. This is something that you, I don't think you even see it in yourself. That's the thing. Like, I don't think you understand the cycle that you're in, but it's something that needs to break before you can move forward and have healthy relationships. All right. So let's see. Let me clarify this five of swords. Thank you for our Capricorns. Okay, I see that you are very tired and overworked. Um, you might be in a situation that you need to step away from, um, but you're not sure how to do it. There's a lot, there's passion inside you for something or somebody. You want, this is going to be like new creative energy or a passion maybe you're meeting somebody new or you have like um this newfound passion and something maybe you're learning something but you're holding on to the past somehow or you're holding on to a situation you know this could be um God, with the Four of Swords, it's hard because it could mean so many things to, depending how it resonates for you. But there is something definitely that is, um, you're tired. You're tired of something. And that could be tired as far as, like, I am physically tired. You know, I worked too hard this week. Or it could be, like, I'm tired of putting up with this BS. I'm tired of seeing you with, you know, flirt with every person in the room besides me. You know, like... This, it could be a lot of different things to a lot of different people. That's why I say it's so hard to explain the Four of Swords because it self-care is different for everybody. But you do have a lot of passion within you and you want to share it with somebody, but you're holding on to this situation that has you in this comfort zone. It's time for you to get out of that comfort zone and try this, whatever it is you are passionate about. Or have passion for. This could be a person. This could be a thing. Uh, this could be a creative outlet that you have. But it's time to let go. And chase that passion. Three of Cups Spirit. What do you mean by Three of Cups? Oh, you might be entering into a relationship. You might have had to leave a friend group. Or something to grow in this relationship. This is um, something new for you. But you are finding that 
you are able to be in a relationship and have your independence as well. I feel like that's something that you might have feared uh, for so long. Uh, you might be like, I don't want to give up my, um, my independence. I don't want to have to report to somebody. I don't want to have to check in with somebody. Um, but you're making it work, work with this person. You're not letting that interfere. You're holding on to your independence and being able to share your cup of love at the same time. And that's really what was important to you. You didn't want to give up because we all know how hard Capricorns work. We all know what, um, what type of workers they are. So you're not willing to give up your independence and your savings account, your bank account for somebody to come in and be like, you know, I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to do that. No, you're like, I'm not reporting to anybody. If you love me, then you're going to love me for who I am. I'll make time for you, but you have to love me for who I am. And I feel like that's, that's where you're at and, or, and, or that's what you want in a relationship. So start manifesting that. If that's something you want, manifest it because it will come in for you, but you have to be specific. You can't just say, I want love to come into my life. Say, I want love who's going to accept me for everything that I am. And if you are a worker bee, if you are somebody who has their own business or is constantly on the hustle, then they have to accept that about you. That's part of who you are. Don't give up your independence. You don't have to. Somebody will come along who appreciates it. And that's what matters. Okay, so what just came out is the moon. Changes are happening. All right, this also might be that there's something secret might be revealed or you might discover something about somebody or something. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be life altering. This could just be something that you didn't know. Like, um, I don't know, maybe somebody you're dating has um, kids or, you know, something you might be sharing things about some yourself or your person might be sharing something and you're just learning about things this doesn't mean it's like hidden secrets of the unknown or like you know it's a dateline no this could just be something you might be just getting to know each other you're learning stuff about each other um but make sure you're paying attention okay this is a card of like if you're in a relationship make sure you're you're putting your yourself into the relationship Otherwise, let go because you are paying attention. This card is about paying attention to things that don't matter. Watching them go down the drain as your other cups are here. Like, we're here. Why are you paying attention to shit that's falling down the drain? We're here. We matter. Stop turning your backs on us because we're right here. Okay? Distracted by something. Pay attention to your relationship. Um... It's super important. Put down your phone when you're together. It's the little things that matter. It's the little things they're looking out for. And it's really, really important to um, just be present. Just be present. All right. Um, I am going to pull a card from this deck for the concluding message for our Capricorn Collective. Here, what is going to be the concluding message for the Capricorn Collective for December 2023? Capricorn 2023. What do we need to know? What does the Capricorn Collective need to know? Raise your energy vibration. Every thought that you have impacts you. By shifting in the middle of a weakening thought to one that strengthens, you raise your energy vibrations and strengthens yourself and the immediate energy field. So if you catch yourself thinking of something that's negative, you can change that immediately by being like, whoops, change your thought, change your verbiage of what was going to come out of your mouth. And 
it's amazing how much that works then good energy is going to start to come into your field and it's just going to exude more good energy so uh thank you for tuning in capricorn thank you for your awesome energy and thank you for staying till the end if you did i love that please cl click on like and subscribe to my channel also that notification bell will let you know when i'm going live or posting new videos how to book a personal reading is in the description box otherwise i will catch you next time capricorn bye